Hey everyone, the purpose of today's video is to show how the three financial statements flow together. This is a common topic that's tested in finance and accounting interviews. Now, if you need a refresher on the three financial statements, I'll leave links in the description below to videos explaining the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. So you can pause this video, watch those, and then come back. Now, there are many ways in which the three financial statements flow together, but in today's video, we're going to hit on the top three, and these include net income, depreciation and capex, and cash. Let's jump into it. So first, net income, which is the bottom line of the income statement, flows into both the balance sheet and the cash flow statement. First, the amount of net income generated from the income statement correspondingly increases or decreases the amount of equity on the balance sheet. So in our example, in 2020, the income statement generated $15,000 of net income, and this correspondingly increased our equity account on the balance sheet in 2019 from $30,000 to $45,000 in 2020. Second, net income is also the starting point of the cash flow statement. So our income statement generated $15,000 in net income, which now becomes the starting point of the cash flow statement. So to summarize, net income increases or decreases our equity account, and it also becomes the first line item on the cash flow statement. Now let's take a look at depreciation and capex. First, the amount of depreciation, which shows up on both the income statement and cash flow statement, correspondingly decreases the amount of property, plant, and equipment shown on the balance sheet. And second, the amount of capex shown on the cash flow statement correspondingly increases the amount of property, plant, and equipment shown on the balance sheet. So in our example, in 2020, we had $5,000 of depreciation, and this decreased our property, plant, and equipment by 5,000 from 2019 to 2020. However, we also had $10,000 of CapEx, which correspondingly increased our property, plant, and equipment account from 2019 to 2020. So in the end, we had a net gain of $5,000 in property, plant, and equipment from 2019 to 2020. So to sum that up, depreciation decreases the amount of property, plant, and equipment shown on the balance sheet, and CapEx increases the amount of property, plant, and equipment shown on the balance sheet. Finally, let's take a look at cash. While this is a very easy concept to understand on paper, it's also very important to understand. So the total change in cash, which is the bottom line of the cash flow statement, correspondingly increases or decreases the balance of cash shown on the balance sheet. So in our example, the cash flow statement generated a $10,000 gain in cash. So our balance sheet account of cash increased by 10,000 from 2019 to 2020. To wrap everything up, hopefully you now have a better understanding of how the three financial statements flow together. And if this topic is ever brought up in an interview, you can now point to how net income, depreciation and CapEx, as well as cash, flow through the three financial statements. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe below, and I look forward to talking to you guys again soon.